Good morning, everyone. This is Linda. I hope you're having a fine day. It's a fine day here. Yes, it is. A little overcast, but I take it. I'm going to take it. Yes. But listen, guys, I stopped in today because I want to talk to you all about garlic. I'm going to just hit on it a little bit. We ain't going to stay. And I want to share with you how I am preserving my turmeric. But first, if you are not subscribed to the channel, hit that subscribe button. I will be sharing my Zone 9 garden. Yeah. <music> So this is the harvest of my turmeric. Yep, this is them right here. And I'm cleaning them. I have more to clean, but um now I understand um I'm not gonna take the skin off of all of them, but just some of them. Um uh, there's a lot of nutrients in those skins. So for these I'm going to um chop them up and make a like a soupy paste out of them and I'm going to put them in a container and put them in the freezer yeah that's what I'm gonna do but I'm gonna share okay so this is the first step I'm just cleaning them getting all the dirt off uh, but yeah some of them I'm leaving the skin off on some of them I'm taking it off but I'm not too concerned with taking all the skin off these babies, right? So, I'm going to do that. Um, uh, but, um, yeah, it's easy to come off, as you can see that. Very easy. Just rub, rub. So, let me finish cleaning, and then we're going to chop it up. <laughs> all right. Hey, guys. So... This is my, um, my turmeric. So this is just um, um, the ones that I'm going to process for me. Oh, wow, that's cool, huh? Let me put that one in there, too. <laughs> this is the way I'm going to preserve these um, this turmeric. And basically, I'm just going to chop it. And not necessarily small, uh, just like that. And um, I'm going to boil it, and then I'm going to put it in my blender. That's this batch. And I'm going to put it in my blender, and I'm going to freeze these babies. Yeah, I'm going to freeze them. So, you know, you don't need to be particular about how you're going to slice this, this um it's turmeric. No, because it's going to boil and you're going to, well, I'm going to uh, blend it all up there. Yeah, I'm going to have it all blended up. Um, and we'll go through it step by step. Now, what I'm putting it in here, I'll show you. You can't see that, but it's just a pot of water. That's all. So, this is a lot of my um, dehydrated uh, herbs and some thyme and basil. And it all starts here. <laughs> this is where it all starts from, where I put them in, um, um, I put them in a brown paper bag, right? So, let me open this bag. Let me show you. Wait one second. So that is what's in this bag, and that is 
um, basil. That's the purple basil and Greek basil. Yeah, and I just put it in the bag and it dries. And after that, I take it out. And this is it. I put it in a container like this. Yeah, all of these containers. This is from the Dollar Tree. This is some sage I harvest uh, at the beginning of spring. And every day I went out taking leaves. <laughs> yeah, every day. But anyway, guys, I'm waiting for this. This is my turmeric is boiling. There's nothing in this water except turmeric. That's it. It's just the turmeric. And she's boiling away. And what I want, uh, the turmeric is to be soft. Uh, enough for me to stick a fork in it. And, you know, it. it's very soft. But mm -mm. it's not there yet, y'all. It's not there yet. It's so beautiful out here. Right now, I guess it's almost uh, it's almost 11 a.m. and I'm about to take a shower. And Jody and I are going to go somewhere. I don't know where we're going. She just told me be ready at noon. She want to come and get me. So I'm game, y'all. I'm game. <laughs> but listen, I wanted to share this with you all, uh, just so you all can see what I see. All right. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take all of this stuff off of her. And all the bricks from around her. But I'm going to build a nice square to go around her. Just to keep her steady. Uh, not steady. Sturdy. In this, uh, in this spot. Uh, because, yeah, you know, she's going to be on her own. And, you know, yeah. But, um. Uh, I'm going to share with you all when I make that little box for her and I'm going to fill it up with soil and stuff all around her and I'm going to get all, <laughs> get all of my rigging up <laughs> that I put around her. Alright guys, I just wanted to share a little chopping and go stop this girl. <laughs> Alright guys, so here is some of my girly. I did that, so I can't blame the squirrel for that. <laughs> but uh, this is some of my garlic too that I dropped with you all. Yeah, but we're gonna talk about this over here. So these are, this side here, this is elephant garlic over here. Yeah, it's garlic here. And somewhere along in here, it stops from being garlic to being onions, right? But I want to talk to you all about garlic today. So there was a time that I could not grow a garlic bulb. <laughs> yes, I could not get that garlic bulb. But it was a lot of things that I was doing wrong, okay? So the first thing I was doing wrong was... So, the garlic chives, yes, guys, those chives, I absolutely love them. Yeah, those chives right there. Yeah, I love them. So, when I was growing garlic, I would go out and harvest my chives, clean them, chop them up, put it in the freezer. And when I got ready to cook, I would put those garlic chives in my meals because 
they are delicious, right? So that's the first thing I was doing wrong. So the second thing I was doing wrong is I was growing store-bought garlic and, of course, not growing the garlic that grows well in my zone. So the most thing you have to is understand garlic is that garlic needs some cold weather to get that bulb. Yeah, in order to make that bulb, it needs some cold temperatures. Now here in my zone nine garden, no, it does not get, we get some cold, but it just does not last long enough, okay? But in my research, I have found that there are about four or five varieties of garlic that thrives in my zone nine garden. Yes, they do. Yes. So one of them is, is the Italian garlic, uh, the Creole garlic. Also, there's one called Marble Stripe. It grows well. And the Elephant garlic. They all grows well in zone nine. Yes. So I was taking a chives, which was taking energy from the garlic. Also, I was not growing the right variety. So now, of course, I grow mainly elephant and Italian garlic. So if you... You know, if you get garlic from the store, from a grocery store, yeah, sometimes it may grow, but then sometimes it may not because these stores, they have spray on them that prohibits them from growing or reproducing. But if you want to grow your garlic and get a good harvest, learn what garlic grows well in your zone. So that is one of my tips to find out what garlic grows well in your zone. Now, I was told in my early research that uh, soft neck does well in my, in my zone. But then I read where hard neck does well in my zone. So both of them do well. But I did read that for a soft neck, it does not need longer, colder temperatures to make that bulb. So another thing I would encourage you to do is that when you get a good harvest is to save some of your best garlic bulbs for the next season. Then you know you are going to have a great harvest because they grew in your garden. And this is how you can keep your garlic growing every year with no problem of not getting that bulb. Now, I'm not going to eat the chives from these um, <laughs> from these garlics here in this bed. But in that metal container, yes, I planted that just for the chives for me because I do love them and they are delicious. And it's like eating um, green onion, but it's not onion, it's garlic. So for someone who loves garlic, yeah, then you will love garlic chives. They are amazing. So, you know, that's what I do. But anyway, guys, I wanted to just give you all little tips on um, growing garlic and being successful uh, the first time which yeah I went a couple seasons <laughs> but that's okay it's okay I got it now baby I got that thing now yeah but anyway I hope you find this helpful to you yeah I hope you have an amazing harvest of your garlic yes do well do well family do well yeah. all right guys i'm over here by my katrina bricks <laughs> no i don't have any zeta bricks 
just Katrina. But anyway, <laughs> uh, I wanted to share with you all some of my plans. So this is the one I wanted to share this morning. So it has, what, five plants that came up. Five seeds germinated. Here's one here. There's one back there. And there's three right here. Looks like another one is coming up uh, right here or so. But anyway, we ain't gonna count them until they, they get up. And this, this, no, there's weeds. That's no. But that is um, the purple um, angel trumpet. Now, I've seen a lot of people say that I did I did share the seeds with, and they say, well, Miss Linda, I'm going to drop mine because you dropped yours. So I want you to remember uh, what zone you live in if you could drop these seeds right now. Because if you live in a cold climate, and you would have to bring these seeds inside. Why drop them now? You know, give yourself a better chance to, um, you know, to have the, the flowers we're looking for and drop your seeds in the spring. Hold on to them, hold on. Yeah, yeah, just drop them in the spring. Now, I wanted to drop these right now simply because one is, I do have I do have more. I wanted to make sure that the seeds were matured and they were going to germinate for you guys. So I wanted to make sure by dropping some seeds. That's it. All right. All right, guys. I wanted to share that with you this morning.